This is literally so weird to be vlogging again. It's been over a year, so I feel like I have to get used to like talking. Also, it's okay. Let's not start off the vlog, cousin. It's literally 6:40 in the morning. I've been in New York for two or three days, and hold on, I need to find a brush. I can't even think right now. Okay. Anyways, yeah, I've been in New York for a couple days. I'll be here for the rest of the month, but today I actually am flying back to LA for five days because I got a job, which is great. This is probably one of the longest job like campaign things I've done in a long time. This is great because this job is like paying basically for everything that I'm spending over here. I am over here for develop one development, but like two, I needed like a huge mental reset. If you guys have been following me on TikTok and everything, my car got stolen. The car getting stolen was like, this is absolutely insane. I don't know if I want to do this anymore. So yeah, I was just like, I need to get out of that city. I need to reset. And I was like, as crazy as it is, I want to go to New York, which, if you guys know, you know I typically don't like New York. New York has not been my cup of tea, but I think it's really all dependent on the location that you stay because the last two times I came, I was staying in Harlem. And like, I never, I just, I'm, I'm a suburbs girl and I don't mean to offend anybody, but I just like never felt safe. Every time I would go outside in Harlem, it was a very aggressive environment. I'm from Pepper Pines, y'all. We don't do that. Like, it's too much for me. So. I feel like that was my sole impression of New York. This time around, I'm staying in Brooklyn and it has literally been like a night and day difference. And I feel like now I actually kind of really fuck with New York. I'm actually really excited to be here. I feel like this is gonna be really fun and really good for me. I kind of have to hurry up and pack and get like my life and stuff together because JFK is about like 35 minutes away. I don't know why the client booked my I should have told them to try to do it for LGA. They put it for JFK. So it's like 40 minutes away. I'm probably going to be about an hour away because by the time I'm ready to leave, there's going to be traffic. My flight's at 11 a.m. So, and JFK is absolutely bonkers every single time. Low key have like 30 minutes to pack everything up and get it together. So I'm going to focus. But I'm excited to be back vlogging. I hope you guys really enjoy this vlog. Uh, I might be a little bit rusty. I'll give your girl a break. But like TikTok is cool and all, but I feel like I really loved having you guys on this platform and I think you guys really love my vlogs too. So yeah, let me focus because I don't get shit done. <laughs> packing it's 7 6 a.m i'm gonna go run to get sap a she like loves new york bagels like that's her thing she wants an egg bagel and a plain bagel i'm gonna go try and find like a corner deli or somewhere i don't know if that's if i'm gonna be able to find that in brooklyn oh i think this place will do it okay they're an eight minute walk perfect okay we're gonna go get that and then i think i'm gonna come back up call the uber and head over to JFK. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go bust a little mission real quick. I'm so hungry and I have not had water because I guess New York people, like New York doesn't have the fridges that you can press the water out of, which I feel like is common in New York. There's only like a Brita filter thing and this is my friend's apartment and that Brita filter has been sitting so long that I can tell that it doesn't filter properly because all the sediment that was in that water has dropped to the bottom of it. So now I know it doesn't even work and I just can't do it. So I gotta go get water and I've didn't go to the grocery store because I was only here for like two days. I need some water because I feel like I'm gonna literally die. Like I'm dehydrated as fuck.
goods are really supposed to stop. We got what we need to get. I'm low key a little bit late. I think we'll be okay. Let's, cause I have clear. I need to get the the one that lets, like, lets you straight through. I literally have all my stuff packed, ready to go. Coffee in hand. My skin does so good out here, it's incredible. JFK was gonna be super packed and it's not. And I don't land till like 2.30. I have to get my nails done before this shoot so I need to make an appointment. I'm not gonna do anything on the plane and hopefully I can actually sleep. We're back in LA. I officially made it. I literally had to rush the nail, like nail salon to get my nails done. They turned out so horrible. I hate them. Client requested like light pink. This shit is so bad, y'all. This thumb look crazy. You can't even see it. It's not even focusing. But like, I promise you, it looks so bad. They're so wavy. And explain to me why I like literally started doing natural nails because I need to drive because I'm gonna be late. I wanted to save money. I was like, I don't want to keep doing gel X and spending like $80, $90 every time to get my nails done. It's, this is ridiculous. So I grew my natural nails out. Bitch, why is it still $65, $70 to get your natural nails done? Like, ho, I done supplied you the, the, the product. So you ain't got to put no nail on. Like, why is it still the same amount of money? That's insanity to me. And I think when I get back to New York, I'm gonna redo them. Yeah, I have a very early call time today. 8.15, this camera's gonna slide around all over the place. Oh my god, they finished the building! There's this building, I'm not even kidding, they've been building it for two years. It looks like it's gonna be like student housing. I am so tired, I ended up staying up so late last night, like way later than I wanted to, talking to a boy, because that's really useful. I'm probably gonna end up not talking to him in like a week, and I got no sleep because of this. I get no sleep because of y'all, you ain't get no sleep because of me. I'm actually really excited to work, because I feel like I, I haven't had a job in almost two weeks now I do need it and this is like a four-day job so this is awesome it's for um like a target brand i've worked with them before multiple times i also have a nike collab i got invited to a nike event tomorrow this is my first time ever being paid to attend an event i literally can't even i can't even believe this is real life my first brand that I get invited to and get paid is Nike like bitch what the fuck this is literally the most insane thing I've ever experienced they're like having us do like custom shoes everything the whole thing's gonna be super cool I'm super excited for it I do work also tomorrow we're nice enough to like work around my schedule which is great because Nike is paying me and an astronomically good rate to go to this event um and then yeah i leave back home on saturday it's cold in la surprisingly i don't even know why i've been talking about for the longest like possibly living by myself i don't know if i really fully could do it you guys like i think that i would i love ludi like ludi and i i love living with ludi ludi's like my favorite person ever we just have so much fun it literally feels like living in a frat house <laughs> and I, I realized in new york i was like oh my god i literally have like nobody to talk to like i tell that girl my every waking thought like everything that goes to my brain i'm like Bleh. so just like being by myself and not having anybody to say those things to i feel like i'm gonna go a little bonkers definitely is about time in my life where i expand out and i okay we're just not gonna go it's definitely time for me to like branch out and get comfortable by myself and have my own space because i do need more space now with work and stuff we'll see I don't know if that will be happening this year because Ludi and I are actually, we are talking about moving back to Miami. I'm highly, 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 like I'm almost 85% sure that I'm going back to Miami. That's on the tables um, and I'm pretty sure we're still going to be living together. Oh my god, I, gotta, I need to get a facial. I have like literal pimples like deep in my skin. I'm the type of person I cannot feel a pimple and not pop it. Like I will pull this car over right now. Okay, anyways you guys, I'll talk to you when I get to the gym. <laughs> I used to be so quiet like a flower I knew all And everything around you made me feel like I was small But then you said my name Now I'm feeling so strange
As you can tell, we're back in New York. It's almost one o'clock in the morning. My dad's like literally the most anal parent about keeping track of me while I'm traveling. Like, I love him, but it gets to the point where it's almost annoying. I'm like, I literally have given you life 360. Why are we dragging me so much? Oh my God, one of the busiest weeks. I'm so tired. I obviously had the week of shooting in LA. I remember if I mentioned this in the vlog, my car got stolen. So uh, that was a whole debacle going through insurance. It was at the Hyundai dealership for like a month and it was just sitting there. And I finally was able to get it out of the dealership, but they called me while I was in LA and was like, you have 48 hours to get it out of here after it had been sitting there for a month. I basically had to coordinate finding enough time between being on set basically from like 8 a.m. to 6 p.m almost every day and also the Nike event that I went to which I don't think I even did any footage or anything because that was my first paid event and maybe we'll talk about that tomorrow because I'm so tired and there's like so much I have to update you guys on. It was such a busy week and there was so much going on. I am actually really happy because there was another job that I was on hold for in LA the 20th through the 24th and I was thinking that I was gonna have to fly back to LA again. Thank God I was released from it. Not obviously would have loved to have booked the job, but um, I was released from it. So I am gonna be in New York for the rest of the month. My face is like swollen. Depending on how my hair looks, I might leave my hair, because I don't know if I need to wash it, honestly. I got it done on set. She refreshed it and she did such a good job with refreshing it that I think it might last. So I have my friend's birthday party tomorrow, which is tomorrow Sunday, and then I also have a date if the guy follows through. Dating has been so, ugh. I'm also in a mood right now because one, traveling, two, I'm about to get my period. For some reason, well, I know why, but every time I come to New York, I kind of get like on a little bit of a funk at first, just like entering the city because it reminds me of things. I've been trying to intentionally date lately because I feel like normally I'm just kind of somebody that I usually am like, oh fuck, I just go with the flow, have fun. We're very much so open. Like I'm not trying to do anything serious. I don't really care. I just want to have a blast. The last several months, I've definitely been a little bit more intentional about dating, which means that I've been cutting guys off faster. I've been trying to have better discernment about who I share my time with. I feel like it's part of the process of like finally becoming 21. My frontal lobe is developing and two, I feel like I am finally healing with a lot of the from a lot of the pain, which did really alter a lot of who I was, like my characteristical makeup, I feel like. So I feel like I was always, and I still do, like don't get me wrong, I still do play the game with dating, but I'm trying to be better about it and go into things with a better mindset. So I was talking to one guy, I've, I've been talking to him, but it's just been very like casual texting, kind of whatever. I'm giving him a shot to see how he is in person, but he actually hasn't coordinated anything with me with meeting in person. But I will give him a little bit of some grace because when we started talking, I really was leaving to LA for the next day. And then I've been in LA for the whole week, so. But the other one, literally within like minutes of talking to him, he was like, let's go here and here on this date. Like, I'll check back in with you later. We haven't done any texting, which is fine because I actually prefer to not do a whole lot of texting. Once you do all that, you like lose a lot of the talking points when you meet in person. And then it gets like kind of stressful because it's like, fuck, I got to think of something else to talk about even though I, I know so much about you, but we had, don't have any like shared memories yet to really talk about, if you get what I'm saying. So I like that he was like, let's not text a whole lot. Like I'll just get to know you on our first date, which is what first date should be. Like we should not be doing fucking 10 tons of texting. And it's funny that more dating that I do, the more that I recognize how detrimental a lot of texting in the beginning is with things. Considering that this is 2024 and he is a male, we will see if he actually texts me tomorrow to coordinate. I'm gonna try to get some sleep. Thank God that I was smart enough to leave myself some water. I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning, happy Monday. So the girl that I'm subleasing her apartment from introduced me to this other lady that she like knows in the building. 
This is the sweetest woman I've ever met in my entire life. I had to borrow a um, blow dryer because I forgot my blow dryer and I need to dry my hair. And she gave me all this stuff that she was like, oh, I don't really use it. Like, here's some hair products if you like. She's so nice. So I have really been kind of all over the place. I'm finally getting settled. Yesterday, I was out with my friend Amaya shooting content literally from like 11 to 5. And then I had to rush home to get ready for my friend's birthday party. Today, I'm going back again with my other friend to shoot content. I have an outfit I want to shoot. I'll probably get lunch with her and then I'm going to come home. I have to edit the Nike video stuff that I'm supposed to do and then I'll tell you guys how that whole event went because that was, that was something. I need to hurry up too because I'm supposed to meet Cheyenne and Soho at one and it's 11.30 and my hair takes like 40 minutes to dry, so. As soon as getting ready, we're about to leave. Um, oh my God, I just realized I did not update you guys on the date I was supposed to go because I remember that I mentioned that to you. Yeah, the man canceled on me like two hours before. I was like, hey, I'm sick. Do you think that we could like try for next weekend? First of all, how stupid do they think we are? I realized that you were sick two hours before we were supposed to go out. Like, I was like, yeah, sure. I'll let you know later in the week. I was like, I'm not letting you know shit, Buki. Yeah. I was gonna get this day started. It's one o'clock in the afternoon and I feel like I'm just coming alive. store but Trader Joe's is closed because it's already like nine something. I got some stuff in for like the collab stuff I need to shoot. This is my first diamond collab. My first time like working with a jewelry company for like expensive jewelry. Fun fact like usually all of the diamond collabs and like stuff that you see influencers do they send it to us but we have to send it back to them so we don't get to keep it. So I'm on loan with these. I am so afraid that I'm going to lose it and I'm like I don't want to lose this because it's super freaking expensive. I got a UGC request from Savage, which is super cool. So I have to shoot that this week, which is, oh, also, I went shopping today, you guys. If there's one thing I can do, it's spend some money. I got this set from Zara, which I'm actually so incredibly impressed with like how high quality it is, but it's this like little kind of puffy structured cardigan and it comes with a matching skirt. It's literally so freaking cute. The skirt I actually ended up buying too. I didn't get that gold dress that I showed you guys earlier because it just did not fit well. So Aritzia and just bought like all three colors of the contour tube tops because I wear tube tops so much, but I needed like some really good ones. So I got a gray one, a black one, and a white one. I feel like this is pretty comparable to the Tink Air. Sizes that I'm having to buy now because I've lost so much weight. Like I've never in my life have worn it too extra small. And I went to Cotton On. I needed to get some glasses because I didn't have any because of, I don't know where my black glasses are so I got those. If you guys have been following me for years you know that I literally I don't know how I haven't gotten a cotton on sponsorship. I feel like I like have always talked about them but cotton on I know for the girlies that are tall do not shop at cotton on because their pants are not long but for my girls that are short it's literally so perfect. I got their um, original straight mid-rise relaxed fit straight leg because the jeans that I had gotten from Zara that I had tailor fit to me no longer fit me anymore because they were like a size 8 and I'm now a size 2. I got like literally 5 pairs of these jeans. I spent like $200 getting them tailored and now none of them fit me. I'm gonna have to get them tailored again because I do just love the quality of the jeans. But I brought them all with me 
and it, literally none of them fit me. They're dragging on the floor now, like the waist is giant, everything. So I needed to get like another good pair of like medium wash jeans that I can wear. I feel like I wear these colored jeans like pretty much every day. And then Cheyenne and I saw these cardigans at Aritzia that we like literally loved. They looked kind of like the Oris and Iris one, but it was $118 and I was like, I'm not paying for that. And I've been wanting like a little black cardigan. So Cotton On had some and it was so cute. And they got like a little cinch waist. I got it in black. I also got it in white. I have no idea how I managed to spend like almost $400 today on all that, but I don't know how I'm capable of doing such things. I'm gonna title this vlog. So tired because that's all I've said this entire vlog. It's like, I'm so tired. Anyways, while we clean, let's talk what like the whole fucking Nike thing. I got invited to the Nike event for, for LA Fashion Week. I was super, super excited. Like that was probably the coolest opportunity I've ever had in my life full like price transparency because i know like sometimes people get mad about influencers talking about shit but i feel like girl like it's a job and we should like know these things i didn't sign an nda so i can tell you guys but i got paid like um, i got like i think it was three thousand five hundred to go to this event like do a reel all this stuff which was like cool because i've never been paid to go to an event um i don't know why i didn't ask to see if i could bring, oh my god i need to return that dress to see if i could bring a plus one because I felt like, first of all, they wanted me to do like a, basically a decent amount of content, which is fine considering what they were paying me. I don't know why my brain was just like not thinking like, oh yeah, you should have somebody come help you with this. So I went to the event alone and like, you guys know, first of all, LA in general, I feel like just the LA industry. I haven't been to a New York influencer event here, so I really can't talk, but I just know like the influencer events in, in LA. People are a little bit stuffy, but I feel like because it was LA Fashion Week, it was like extra like stuffy. Also, I'm just really not the best at socializing. Like I was like super anxious because it was pretty much, I'm just by myself. There wasn't anybody there that I knew. It was like a very different crowd of influencers from like what's normally at the events that I go to. And I've talked about before how like, I have no idea because I ask my friends all the time. I'm like, do I come off as like rude or like unapproachable? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Because I don't know. But then, you know, it's funny. Today, like when Cheyenne and I were out, it was funny. I think I look at literally in my own delusional world, you guys. Like, I think I just like live in an entirely different world because apparently some guy walked past us and said that he really loved my hair. And I thought that he was talking to Cheyenne. So I didn't say anything. And she was like, girl, he said he really loved your hair. And I was like, oh my God, I feel so rude. Like I just walked past him and didn't say anything. And I was like, fuck, I feel so bad. And then early, like later on in the day when we were going into like Zara or something, we're like walking into the store, like trying to get ready to open the door. And some girl was sitting right there. And I heard her say, you're so pretty. And I thought she was talking to Cheyenne. So I like turned my head because I didn't want her to feel like, like I feel like when, when, I don't know if you guys are like this also, but like when someone says like, you're so pretty to, to one of your friends or something, I feel like extra shitty if someone turns to me and goes like, oh, and you too. Like, you don't have to add me as an afterthought. Like, I'm totally okay not being complimented. Like, please compliment my friend. You don't got to give me the compliment. I feel like it feels shitty for you to follow up to be like, oh, let me give you something. So I thought she was saying you're so pretty to Cheyenne. So I turned so she wouldn't like feel like she had to give me a compliment. And then when we were walking into the store, Cheyenne's like, girl, she was saying you like, you guys are so pretty. And you just like like fully turned away from the girl and she's like i can't even imagine how many people must have like stories thinking that you're like a bitch or something and you just like really never think anyone's talking to you or like anything so i don't know anyways to so bring that back to my original point i felt like i was like trying to make conversation this entire time during the event and honestly like i've come to the conclusion that i'm just not a I'm not a super extroverted person. I have improved immensely. I will say that I have improved immensely because there was truly a time where, is this not focusing? There was truly a time where I would not, I would not open my mouth. I was literally so scared shitless. Nothing would come out of me. Previously, it used to be that I would like go and hang out with my friends and my friends would introduce me to new people. And I would not even be able to talk to the new people that my friends introduced me to. Just because I was like so anxious and so in my head. Whereas now, like, my friends can introduce me to people and I can talk and I can hang and I can do like a pretty good group of like three to four. I'm also a very big vibe person and I just felt like people weren't really welcoming at the event. So, yeah, I just got really, 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 really anxious. And I am the type of person that's like, 
when I acknowledge that I'm not speaking to anybody, and I've said this, I feel like so many times, if you guys watch my content, you're probably like, damn bitch, you don't told us this, this like 800 times, but <laughs> I am the type of person that like, if I am anxious and I realize that I'm not really talking, then it makes me more anxious. And then I start being very freaking aware of the fact that I'm like not saying anything and I probably look weird as fuck. Then I get even more in my head because I'm like, people definitely think that I'm like, something's not wrong, like something's not right with me, like whatever. So they were doing like a shoe customization for them. The whole thing I felt like, I don't know if I was the only influencer that was getting paid there because I felt like I wasn't seeing people do like any content. So first of all, there's like 15 influencers at this event. We're in like a kind of like a U-shaped situation. At this time, you guys will probably see the content on my Instagram page. I put people on like, all sides of the table like front back front back front back so there's we're so squished in in the situation that there's like not even room to put a tripod to really film anything so i'm like they're not giving us space to do this and then also the event was held at like 4 p.m outside so you guys know we're in daylight saving time like maybe there is no sunlight we got a good 30 minutes of good light and then it was like i could barely film anything my door's locked <laughs> i have like the deepest fear of someone coming into the house in new york I'm very anal about my content. Everything has to be so perfect, so good. And I really have been putting off filming this, I mean, editing this content from um, Nike because I'm like, I'm just really not happy with the way that it looks, like format everything. And probably if I had somebody else to help me, then it would have been much better. But I definitely got a wake up call that my social anxiety is still very much so a thing. And your girl is not completely healed. Okay, I need to create my to-do list for tomorrow. Went and got me some Shake Shack. I'm literally starving and dehydrated as fuck. I'm gonna watch some, some One Tree Hill guys. I'm like obsessed with One Tree Hill right now. I know that I'm really late to everything, but I cannot get over the show. Like it is my, it's literally my obsession. I'm on season five. I cannot believe how they did my girl Brooke. And I'm, I actually like cannot stand Fucking Peyton, yo. I hate Peyton so much. Lucas sucks too. Oh, oh my god, the Wi-Fi is out. No! Okay, thank god I have the episodes downloaded, so we're gonna watch it on my iPad. It's like almost 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm exhausted. Okay, I have to stop saying literally. I don't know where this came into my vocabulary from, but I feel like I have started to say literally so much. And I think I started as a joke. And now it's actually in my vocabulary. Oh my god. Literally, my life is delirious. I just finished editing my Nike video. Where are all my hair ties? I'm gonna go to bed early so that I can wake up and go for a run. I have been trying to go for a run since I fucking got here. All I seem to do is not go for a run. Anyways, uh, I just finished my Nike video. I actually am pretty happy with how it turned out. Yeah, you guys let me know if you like it because it will be out um already oh here's a hair tie it will be out already by the time this vlog is out <laughs> my hair is getting long y'all itches last time i had desiree do my hair we did it all the way to the root and as you guys can see she's grown out quite a bit i feel like there's a filter on my camera and i don't know what's going on i actually have an appointment set on the fourth to go see her so i'm gonna fly to orlando to get my hair done because she's actually having a baby you guys i can't believe it. i feel like so many people are pregnant and like having kids and stuff she released the gender reveal and it's a girl so i was like oh let me go get my hair did before my sister goes off to be a mom for quite a long time because baby these brutes is crazy i don't know why the last one was like oh yeah do it all the way to the scalp that was a bad idea my hair grows so slow though like this is like almost a year i'm gonna say almost a year of growth like that's what Two inches? I feel like some people grow that in like three months. I mean, it took me a whole fucking year to grow that. I'm gonna brush my teeth and go to sleep because I can't even think right now, y'all. I have to pee so bad and I forgot to buy a toilet paper. Good God.
agency visit. I thought I was going to see digital today and then my agent didn't end up having enough time. I'm going to go for a run because it's now almost 3 o'clock. I want to go before it starts to get dark. Then I'm going to go to the grocery store. I do not want to go run, but if I don't do it, I'm going to literally feel like such a failure because I've been saying since I got here that I'm going to go for a run. I don't want to wear orange because I don't want to be that noticeable. I'm going to change into this and then we are going to go for a run. <sighs> I'm gonna try to aim to do two miles today. I feel like I can. My toe is hurting me a little bit, so I feel like I might struggle. Why did I think I was closer to this park? I have my sweatband on. It's a little bit tighter than normal today. Also, I have to run with wired headphones, which absolutely sucks because I left my headphones with Maya, so I gotta figure that out. But we're gonna make the most of it. I'm just gonna get this shit done because I don't 